Hi, my name is Daniel Zweidler. I'm a senior fellow at the Max Center for Technological Innovation. I'm also the founder and the president of Daniel Zweidler and Associates, a consulting firm. Uh, I think in the word co-creation there is co, uh, which involves that you're actually going to work with somebody else that you're going to let somebody else into your house and you're going to work with that particular person. So if you think that co means control, this is definitely not going to work. It really means opening your doors and working with somebody else. You have to be very, very open for that. What it means for large organization is certainly carving out part of their businesses and actually let them run this experiment or actually work in this new world let them actually really thrive in there rather than trying to control them. So let them off the leash and let them co-create and actually create value in the process. So the, uh, the first example which comes to my mind and I'm going to mention uh, Harley Davidson Motorcycle Company which actually did co-create a long time ago. Co-creation, they actually involved what was known as the one percenters to actually come in their organization, work with them to develop the next generation of motorcycles, which actually the clients would then actually buy because it would really mean something for them. So the customer sort of has to, the customer has to associate with this company. It has to associate with the brand. So a company with a brand like Harley Davidson or Nike are going to be prime companies to actually people to co-create with them. So we, we talk a lot about a co-creation platform. Uh, co-creation is not just taking people, putting them in a room and say, well, now you're going to come up with the next best ID. You actually need a platform, an IT platform, which enables people to work together without being physically present in the same place. So it requires an openness. And I think IT has made a lot of progress over the last 10 years uh, with cloud computing, platform computing, to actually enable this for us. And I'm really going to mention Arch to POCM, which is an experiment in terms of co-creation uh, in the biosciences, where we actually try to reach proof of concept for a mechanism with a group of individuals working together from academia, uh, from biotech, from uh, big pharma, also the patients. We need a platform where everybody can interact, and IT really enables this tremendously, I think. 